Hello, and welcome back to Shogun 2, the Josai Father Samurai Legendary. Legendarily Lady difficulty, sure. Last time we left off, we had taken Hitachi from the whoever the hell they were. They're dead now, no one cares. And um, we are now looking to take Shimotsuke. But their army was just up here before. It's still there, actually, okay. It's not a very good army, it's just loads of levy infantry, but the thing is... Like... If they've got that many of them, how the hell do we reach them? <laughs> I mean, there's always the, the very cheeky tactic of if you are defending at least, you can sit behind a, a small mountain and just run over once they get close enough. Yes. And they don't have line of sight on you the entire time, but it's going to be difficult regardless. Uh, we can't really move out anyway because the happiness you're here is kind of a problem. This is going to go up quite high actually, and there's no way we're going we're to stop it unless we build a police school, which is probably a good idea anyway. Police station even. Because um, we've got two building slots here. Is this place... It's got fertile soil, so I do want to make this into a, into a, um, a money-making building. So I, I would actually like to get an inn as well as a college industry. Um, minus one happiness, though, as well. It doesn't really... It's not really a great thing to have right this moment. Um, why, don't you, why don't you go over here look, real quick? We'll just keep an eye on... I just want to make sure these people... Because they're their allies. Uh, the Numata. They don't like me very much because of that. Meaning they could declare war on me now. I shouldn't have actually walked over there. We hadn't met them yet. And if you haven't met someone, they can't declare war on you. But now they can because they know who I am. And that rhymes, which is beautiful. We should take an alliance. No, they don't really like me very much. Even though we're friendly, it's interesting. Um, I can't make a cottage industry. I don't think that's a good idea right now. I think I'd rather wait for either an inn or a police station. I'm not sure how fast this is going to switch. Eh, relatively fast. So we got the faction Y plus two right now for another extra ten turns, which actually is quite strong. Um, we don't need this unit in here anymore, and there's no way that one unit's going to protect this place. So I might as well send him over to Itachi. I did say I wasn't actually going to make any units from here, but I'm, I'm actually very tempted to just make two Yari Ki. I can make one right now and another one next turn. Um, pretty tempted by that. I could actually wait make two of them at the same time. Just hope we don't get attacked by our ally, that'd be pretty bad. Um, yeah, just have two Yari Ki in, an, in the army, it's gonna reduce my income a little bit, but it's gonna make the army so much stronger. So I think that's a pretty good idea. I can make one more of these guys. Would I have enough next turn? No, I wouldn't have. Alright, let's hold off on that then. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Um, so you're working on arms deals. I do want a barracks as well, but we're actually not gonna make that any touchy. We don't have any buildings around here that gives us give us some um, improvements though. Except for Sagami, but we're not gonna take that anytime soon. Then again, we're probably not gonna go up here either. So I think once we've yeah, I guess we're just gonna work our way this way. I think mean, this is owned by one of the Shogun uh, major clans as well, the Nag Nagoka or something. So they are probably gonna likely ally with me too. I think the Az Aizu are yes, Nagoka are allied to them already. Um, so yeah, if we can basically get a, a, a well-secured, like, front over here. Sadly, they're also allied to whoever this is, which is unfortunate. Because we can ally with everyone to the north, we don't have to worry about that. We just go south or west. Anyway, I'll just save my money for now. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go for that first, actually. I don't really care about the arms deals too much yet. So we'll go for arms deals first. I do need to get some modernization so I can actually unlock the other, um, things as well. The other Master of the Arts. Don't want to get stuck on not being able to do anything. That'd be really bad. But I also need to make sure we are happy. They just moved their army west, which is good. If they found an enemy, then I will happily take that. The eyes have broken their alliance to Sendai. Did the Sendai die? No, they didn't. I don't think it would have said if they... I don't think it would have said they broke their alliance if that had happened. It will be so. Their army and army still there, just hanging out. It's replenishing. So are we, but not very fast. Uh oh, it's a shitty little harbor. At your service. At to your service. Nice, he made it. All right, let's make those two units. I mean, that's a good idea. It's gonna make everything so much easier. Having two Yari Ki, very strong unit. What is your bidding? <laughs> I thought he was just gonna. I thought he was just gonna say what. He's like, what the fuck do you want? I'm working here. Why are you so opposed to 
deals. They're enemies with the... Wait, no! Oh shit, did the Nagaoka own all the way up to here? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so they're not allied to the people down here. They just own that. Okay. We're gonna be in a, a, a bit of a struggle here, because we don't want to be uh, we don't want to be enemies with the Nagaoka. We probably want to be allies, uh, allies with them, not enemies. Um... They might just come all the way over, because they own Kai. They own these three regions, so they, they're over here right now, which is really close to us. So that's pretty bad, actually. But we're also allied to... We're allied to both their enemy as well as their ally. So maybe... Uh, might be a bit of a struggle there. If they declare war on me, the Aizu will join us, at least. So that's something. Alright, anyway, there's nothing we can do right now, so... Then turn. This takes so fucking long. I think we just saw a Nagaoka thing happen right there, just for a quick sec. This is supposed to be an easy start, but I don't think that's the case so far. We navigated through fairly well, but... Oh, they're back. They've got a fairly strong army, but if the Nagaoka have three regions, I've got a feeling their armies could to be a little bit stronger than that. They moved out, so I think this is the time we need to strike. We have to attack. And take it in two turns. Take it next turn, essentially. Summer. Okay. Um, yeah. Happiness here is seven, which isn't great. We can only move out seven units. That's still going up. That's still going down. So, yeah, that's cancelling each other out. So, yeah, seven. We lost the one happiness from spring. Actually, probably good that we did, because I would have forgotten about that and then had more unhappiness. Yes. These guys can probably get back in one turn in this region. So if I if I do take it, or if I do move over here, there's a chance they'll come back. Unless I move into a forest, but I don't know if we can. It looks like that's just out of our range. I don't want to go, like, we have to go close enough, because I've got to make 100% sure we can reach. They can move equally far. I'm half tempted to use him, so he can get some experience. Then again, getting him to level 3 gives us the actual movement, so yeah, I should just use the main guy. Take the good units. Seven, that's seven. Okay, I'm not making any more units except for those two over there, but they're not, gonna, they're not gonna help. Hope seven is enough. I can make them one more unit, so I can actually take another unit. Uh, let me just actually do that real quick, just make sure. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's still gonna, we're still gonna run into issues at some point, but that's okay. This place is 40 something percent. Or at least it was before, so hopefully it's not shifted too much. Right, anyway. You... Uh, so that's... 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Let's move as far as possible. Yeah, we can't hide anywhere. If they move back, then we just gotta change the tactic and just go back again. I can't sabotage them. Not enough money nor chances too small anyway. Could try and block them, but I don't think that's actually a thing in this game. Awaiting your next command. Awaiting your next command. Just keep trying these. I mean, this guy's unlikely, but I don't know why they don't want to trade. There must, there must be like a trade good thing that, yeah, we already have, or they already have this. Uh, they're already importing it, so I guess they're not interested. And I guess they just don't care about iron. I don't know. Let's hope they don't turn back. If they don't, I can both save the Aizu as well as take their town in one turn. And those small forces they have there aren't going to stop us. I mean, it might be a difficult fight because of it, but... Oh, they got beaten, which does mean they might run back, but... Uh, that's actually really bad if they do that. Aizu, why didn't you wait one more turn? They might not have... Oh, they're coming up this turn. Oh, they're moving over that way. Oh, okay, that army's going to disappear. Plus the units they had over here are going to disappear. Very convenient. Appreciate that. I have a few units in here. Uh, this looks bad, but I'm pretty sure it's one of those where it's fine. Oh god, that was pretty bad, actually. But it's fine. Pyrrhic victory. God, I should have not done that. But it's okay. Their army's dead. I needed, I needed to take it this turn, though. I couldn't wait any longer. There, the army's gone. I've got this unit left. That's it. Pretty good. Yeah, definitely shouldn't have auto resolved that. Rebel or uh, replenishment does take quite a while as well. Oh, they've got. Oh, they've gone in here. Okay, that's fine. This is meager soil. 
Paranat Fortress. This place is pretty unhappy, but once that's done, it'll be fine. non clan Legions, it's 78.9% pro Shogun. Good. So it actually is very Shogun. Alright, so now we're kind of prepared. For, well, we're not prepared for that yet, but it's okay. Alright, clan destroyed. Get out of here. Yeah, sorry about all of us on that one. I thought it, I thought it was one of those situations where it looked really bad. It was actually okay. I should have just fought it. It could have been an interesting one. I don't tend to fight them. Usually I would have sieged them out, but of course this was a timely matter. I apologize. Right, we made a Yari key. You guys are gonna have to run over like mad. This is why I didn't. I don't care too much about making Yari keys because they've got the movement speed of crazy men, so that's okay. Probably should have gotten rid of this unit a while. Eh, only cost 98. It's not that bad actually. It's such a crap unit though. It's so bad. I mean, all the units we have right now is, are bad, but this is a this is a samurai um, tier unit, and it's just so bad. Like they've got less less range than these guys. They have lower stats overall, but the armor these guys have got is pointless. They're better in melee, but how does like when does that happen? You know. My lord. All right, I saved your ass, Aizu. You better fucking appreciate, boy. Uh, off tempted to do that, but I won't. I thirst for duty. I can make a geisha. That's probably a good idea. Our income is actually okay-ish, even with those two units we just made. Buildings in this cost so much more than normal, though. It's always the downside. Right, Nagaoka, you want to trade? Might be able to come to an agreement. Wanna, oh, I can't ally because there are enemies with my ally. And the Odawar, man. That might be okay then. If they get killed, that'd be fine for me too. What is up with these fucking might be able to come to an agreement? Like, everyone is, is like, might be able to come to an agreement. Except for them, of course. Because they're penises. Right, you wanna become my inspector general? Plus one repression, minus your construction costs. 16 year old general, damn, that's pretty sweet. Have we gone in here? No, no other brothers. <laughs> this army said that. It doesn't even look that bad, but the flag is fucked up. I didn't lose any years, did I? I sent over eight. Yes, yeah, eight. Okay. Ninja, why don't you come and sit in the town for me? Get some experience for once. A little bit of vision too, and then that's pretty pointless. <sighs> Still tempted to get rid of that ship, but I'll keep it for now. It's just it, I'm never going to win any naval uh, fights anyway, am I? Or am I? Like that's the that's actually a question. Maybe I will not win naval fights. We'll scup room anyway. I'll keep this one around because it can still do stuff. I can make one of those ships if I want to. It's just way too fucking expensive. It costs eighteen hundred and seventy-six. In um, in about nine turns, I'll have made my money from that ship not being there. So in nine turns, if I make it, it'll have been worth it. So if I don't need that ship for nine turns, it'll it will have been worth it. I should have done it earlier, but eh. Uh, Alright, I already went off through all these things. Yep, no one wants trade. Okay. Income's gone up a lot from that. 244 extra is pretty damn nice. We've got a Geisha too. This guy's probably gonna commit suicide. An extra 10 experience for our general, which is always good. Oh, the Aizu just broke their alliance. That's not good for us, necessarily. The... Ooh, they're not coming for me, I don't think. They're gonna go for my farm. Um... Yeah, they broke my lines. That's interesting. It does give us a, a route up here. Sadly, we're not still not allowed to actually declare war on them for nine turns, but... The Nagaoka lost the town to... Jesus, they've got enemies. Probably the Odawara? Yeah, the Odawara took Kai. No, they didn't. That's someone else. That's the... the who are they? The, the Sumpu. Sumpu to Kai and Suruga they started with. So the only real enemy we have around here is the Numata, which I think these guys might be at war with. They are, so I gotta be there fast, but that's not gonna happen. Spy, go check out what they've got. If I play my cards right, there's a chance I can sneak in and take it. If if the, the army that's over here, if they lose. What's my richest town? Shimotsuke and then Hitachi. Hitachi's gonna be better for money once we get stuff, so why don't you go in there? Actually, what is that? Again, uh, inspired and daily these are problems with flourishes. Well. Yeah, I think it increases wealth or growth even. Doesn't say, I don't think, but yeah, plus one from her. Right, 
This place is becoming happier quite rapidly. This is not going up anymore, this is still going down. So we can move out three units, which we will do. Uh, we can also move these guys further. Is it better to move through the town? Probably not. So move out three units, I'll move out the general as well. Um, I can get an extra bit of experience if I use the general there too. This is one gun units, okay. He might run. Um, let's get this one some experience. Yeah, let's just attack him. He'll run away. And then I have to go chase him, so. Oops. Wait, what the? Oh, that, that's definitely one of those situations where it's not right. See, that's why I'm confused. It's sometimes it just fucks up like that. and There's no way to know when that happens, you know? Oh, this was the second general, actually. Okay, this place is pretty well, pretty undefended right now. Wanna make sure he replenishes. Okay, but once we get all this stuff in there, then this force will be pretty strong. This is seven units, nine plus four. So we got 13 units in there, and we got another five in here. So we got 18 total. We can make a little more as well if I wanted to. Can we get another geisha? Probably is a good idea. Start leveling them up now. Or I could make some more cav. If I have four Yari cav, that would be insane. Pretty expensive, but I'm pretty tempted. I might say no. I should get some. I should get money. Or, um, yeah, I should get money buildings. Cottage industry here. It's a lot of wealth. Could wait for the inn instead, but mm, kind of wish I had enough money for the inn. I think I prefer the inn right now, but in three turns we're gonna lose another happiness. But that's okay. We can always make a unit there if necessary. I think two Yari key for now is fine. I do want to make two more, but if we have four Yari key, then that's gonna be so good. They're very susceptible to gunfire, of course. Yari key are not as good as Yari samurai and regular shogun too, just because of that. But this army's probably quite yeah, it's a pretty crap army. Not that we can take it right now if our depleted forces, but still. Next turn, that's done. So that should increase our income by a tiny bit. Can't imagine it'll be much. I don't know how much the administrative costs are when you only have four regions, but, you know, could be good. I'm not quite sure why they broke their alliance. They did it with the Senpai as well, just a few turns ago. Apparently they're not very reliable. Oh, they're going back, so they're not going to go for Kazuke, which is like, okay by me. Because if I can take it, then I shall gladly do so. I uh, don't think I want that. Do we get modernization, but we get that from this too, and this is a little better. Okay, Hitachi is not going to get that anymore, so we do actually need to put a unit in there, an extra one, until this goes away. Um, but we're always going to keep one unit in here, just because the modernization is going up as well. I guess we shall make a unit then. Our income's gone up a little bit. We went from like 900 to 1100. It's not too bad. Can make another unit. Or a geisha. I think I'm more interested in the geishas right now. The, the, the units are almost pointless. Um, put them in there later. Because. Uh, well, I'm not, not, not useless, but the thing is, we can recruit them later and they just cost us upkeep, so we, we want to keep our income as high as possible. So I'll make another one and I'll just put her in there. Although this place isn't going to be made for money because it's got meager soil. Railway increases money as well, though. More than this does, actually. Alright. Um, we're not making any more units here. I'm still worried about this if they declare war on me again. But we're still very friendly, are we not? Yeah. We're even friendly with them. We're still trading with them. So I guess I, I got the trade out of that, at least. So that's good. You guys change your mind yet? Nope. Nagaoka. I kind of want to trade with you. Although, that does piss off my ally a little bit. Face. Come, let us talk and take tea, perhaps. Yes, I'd love some tea, actually. Thank you. Thank you for offering, sir. Now, what I also like is money. I guess you don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, it'll probably make them dislike me a little bit. Yeah. Maybe not? Is that not a thing in this? Maybe it's the previous game. Or, not previous, the, the, the future game. Or the future, the... I got uh, whatever you call them. Um... Rome 2, etc. I know they have it. When you trade with someone that you, 
Retreat with someone that's the enemy of your ally, then your ally will dislike you for it, which makes sense. So the Magaoka would be back. Let's see if there's any anything else going on around here then. Oh shit, I don't want to encounter too many clans. The Sunpu. Okay, they're that other clan. They might want to trade with me. They're friendly with me. Come on! Why does everyone so like, eh, like, you're okay, but, you know, not really, not too interested in trade, so... Try again later, maybe. Yeah, they're the only clan I want to meet, actually. I don't want to want to go any further west. Oh, the Nagoka just took another town. Don't think that was Kaida. That was North... No, South Shinano, wasn't it? Where's that guy? God knows. Man, my allies got an army and a half over there. Please don't declare... Or, please don't... Yeah, please don't declare war on me. Get another general. Um... Yeah. Irresistible. Cost me all my money for this turn, but it's okay. Do we, um... I can't remember. This guy doesn't get... No, he doesn't get upstart generals. Only if, only if we had other generals already, he would have got upstart general. Okay. Um... Do I want to move him, or do I want to keep him around here? I mean, I don't like having a general on his own, but... There's no more point moving him elsewhere either. That's gonna go away, so next turn... We can technically move a unit away again, but then this is going up next turn as well. Okay, we've got a fairly sizable army here. I'm gonna move you back towards Kazuke. This is the Sumpu army. Nice, right, Sumpu. Who exactly are you at war with then? You're at war with the Nagaoka only. Nagaoka did take Saoshinano, yeah, because they took Kai. Okay. Um, hey, you want to trade with me? No? How about you guys? Trade? No? Oh, how odd. I don't want to trade with them, but they don't want to trade with me either, so that works out. Spy, I need to come back. I need to know what's in Kazuke, because they've got a large army, but it's mostly crap. Not all, though. Like, there's still a few good units in there, and a few good units might just be enough to... to destroy me. To destroy me. I've got no other units on the way though, so I gotta make a decision at some point. I can declare war on them and lure them towards me. That could be good. Are they allied to anyone? They are allied to... They're fucking allied to my ally. You're kidding me. <laughs> God damn it. Why is this such a... Why is... Why are there such odd alliances going on here? Okay, so I can't even attack them if I wanted to. I can't attack the Aizu because they are allied to the Nagaoka. Unless I want to go to war with the Nagaoka, which I don't really necessarily want to, but on the other hand, all my friends, if you want, to the west are at war with them as well. So I guess we should probably, like, if we were all combined, we could probably take him. Let's go towards their capital, see what they've got there. As you wish. We're in the same situation where we can't really attack anyone. Well, we can't attack the Aizu for another seven turns anyway, so we, if we do, did go for that, we'd have to wait. I could attack the Nagaoka, though. They are only allied to the Aizu. In fact, I could declare war on the Nagaoka... The Aizu would join them, and then I can attack the Aizu. But we know the Aizu have got a fucking large army as well. Don't know what they've got, but it's still an army. <gasps> Why is this so difficult? <laughs> okay. Well, it's okay. Alright. We just don't wanna we just don't wanna go to war with, with the Edo again. Or uh, have them break our their alliance again at least. I definitely don't want to go to war with them. That would be even worse. Well, Nagaoka sent the navy all the way around, apparently. There's no other way they could have gotten there. Man, this is some crazy shit right here. Boy, it was a fast end turn. Holy hell. Income's still going up, though. Alright, we've got enough. No, we don't, do we? Nope, we don't have enough for those. Maybe I should make two more of these guys. I can't afford two of them either, though, so... Um... Yeah, we should make the inn. Keep our money income going up. Money income. We don't have to expand too fast because of the way this, this game is set up. We're not too much in a hurry. Because, like, if we have strong allies around us, then that's just as good as expanding ourselves. As long as there's still room to expand, that's the most important issue. Yeah, nothing there. Wasn't expecting there to be. As you wish. We'd have to go through the Aizu lands just to get there, though, and that leaves us very exposed to the Sendai and whoever owns this, which might be the Sendai, Sendai as well at this point, to be honest. Okay. I definitely think I want... If I get two more Yariki and two more Yarikachi in this army, then I, I'd feel pretty good about this. I maybe shouldn't have gotten rid of this building here yet. 
done it later, so I could recruit a few units here and just send them over. But then again, my point still stands. Not spending the money right now on the units is actually okay as well. Hey, does anyone want to trade with me? You guys, perhaps. We're friends, are we not? Sunpool? Trade? Die in a fucking fire, please. No one's so stingy in this. See, so yeah, Nagaoka have three territories, but obviously their main army is going to be in the south. So that's why we shouldn't have to worry about anything in their north. The one thing that we do have kind of like going against us is that if we don't expand, that people are going to feel like they're stronger to, uh, than us. Oh, crap. Um... Oh, Sendai and Aizu are at war. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, possibly good. Sendai is another clan that I probably would, wouldn't mind being allied with. If we have them to our north. Like, if the plan was the them and the Sendai, and just everyone to the north being allied, because they're all, like, the big shogunate factions, clans. Um, but, you know, if they take them out, then it, just having the Sendai as an ally, like, one ally instead of two would possibly be even better. This place is not going happy yet. We're getting that in three turns. Is that oh, yeah, that gives us extra happiness. Well, we can't move out yet, though, because of that. Mm. Yeah, I'll hold off on making units. We're, we're making some money now, though. Um, when we get the inn, we'll make another geisha. Next turn, we'll start making two units. Probably first, the two Yarikachi. Yeah, four Yarikachi, and then four um, Yariki will make me feel much better about this army. Surely at some point, 30, no, 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 let's not go crazy now. How much do I even make from that? 186, not worth it, buddy. You're probably going to offer some similar, yep, exactly the same thing, okay. Interesting. Spy, I'm going to come down this way again. Alright, they're still in there. Wait, hold on, hold on. They were going up there. Didn't I say, oh, that's because they're at war. And then a turn later, they were allied? Is that what happened? Surely not. They were at war, were they not? They're only at war than I got. I could have sworn they were. I thought... I don't... I'm very confused. Maybe I saw it wrong. Maybe they were always allied. I just realized that just now. Like, I'm pretty sure they went up there. And I was like, oh, that could be good for us. Because if we, if we timed this right, we could take it. And then the next turn, they were allied. And it's like, what in the world happened there? Doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Alright, well, things are happening. If anything, time's ticking down before I can declare war on them without ha having to declare war on the Nagoka instead. They're building up their army still. Their army's, like, full now. They can't declare war on me either because of the Edo would the join my, me if they declared war on me, so... <laughs> kind of like an annoying situation for them as well, but... Anyway... Next time, we're possibly going to attack the Naigo, or the Aizu. I'm not sure who I'm going to attack. I just need to get those units in there, and then we'll see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Till then, have a good day and goodbye.